Hey yo, what's up guys? Kobe Cheese once again, back for another of the full game walkthrough series. This time running through Earthen Peak. Now there's a couple of cool little secretish areas to show off here. So let me go ahead and do my best to explain that. These guys can be quite annoying. They like to throw poison daggers at you and jump on your face. There's some weird stuff they do, but of course we're just going to take them out as normal. There's no real reason for pulling that lever other than if you try to run straight up and fight this guy, then he will break that pot and it will poison the shit out of you. So now you know. Radiant Life Gem over in the corner, no big deal. You don't even have to fight him, just wanted to show you. Right here, best thing to do is kind of run to where that wheel is because there are two archers that will shoot at you while you're fighting him. Ah, he's so fast! Ah! Yeah, these guys are weird. Kind of have these magical lightning spear things. I don't know what it is, but either way, boom! Give him the shield break. Yeah, he was trying to turtle up on me, and I said, no, sir. Uh, no real reason to mess with these guys, but I'm just going to shoot this one for now. You'll notice an item over there. We'll get to that lip. <laughs> ah! Okay. <laughs> we'll just try to forget that that just happened. <laughs> Anyways, you can kill the guy there, run past, and you should be good to go. Now on your left... There's going to be two dudes that will drop down on your face. Before I go over there, let's just go ahead and pull this up just in case I have to run backwards and they try to poison me. Down here, though, oh, God. Damn headless bros. Uh, down here, there is a chest that you can pick up with a, I don't remember, pike. Yeah, oh, yeah, those pikes are cool. So pike is a nice little play style. It's a little bit longer than a spear. Really nice poking action if you like to just stay at range and wreck stuff. Honestly, I wouldn't mind using pike. I really love using spears in this game. It's pretty cool. And so uh, those are pretty interesting to check out. So here are the two dudes that drop down. Just warning you. Finish them off real quickly and then move on with our business. With our day. Our day shall be done. Oh, damn it. Mannequin. Oh, mannequin saber. That's pretty cool. So we'll just head up the ladder here and move on. Uh, let's see where we are. Okay, there's the windmill right here, and I'll show you. There's a there's a cool trick that you can do with this windmill that will make the boss fight later on easier, much easier, in fact. So head through this fog gate. Don't worry, nothing crazy on the other side. Just a. It's kind of trolly that they put that fog gate there. To be honest, it's like because sometimes you don't want to go through the fog gate until you find the bonfire, but the bonfire is behind the fog gate in this case. So light up your torch, walk over to the windmill, and you can light it on fire. What this will do is it will drain a lot of the poison in the area and make much of the zone uh, a little bit more tolerable, I'll, I'll say. Okay, and if you see those little rails, you can actually break them down by attacking. I'll run over here, and there's a guy here named Laddersmith something. Laddersmith. Let's just call him the Laddersmith. Give him a little bit of a chat and pay him 2,000 souls. He'll drop down a ladder that allows you to get to some items. You can also learn some gestures from him. We're going to buy some claws because I want to play with those later on. Oh, yeah! Thief set! Let's buy the thief set. It's time for some more roleplay action. Now, I like the gear. I like the way I look right now. I think I look pretty cool, but well, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and be a thief for a little bit, man. we got, we got to try this out. All right, let's go ahead and put on the thief set. Oh man, how sexy, how sexy. It's, it's basically the thief from Dark Souls 1, I, if I remember correctly. So down here on the ladder you get Twinkling Titanite, very nice to get, as well as the Pharaoh's Lockstone. And we'll just continue onwards, onwards and upwards. Um, one more little thing to grab here, a little corpse on the ledge, and that's a Simpleton Spies, just attack the thing once again to get out. And right here, uh, if you pull this lever, it will actually raise the bridge. Now, some of you guys would actually get on there, which is what we'll do in a little bit. But if you wait for it, there's an item down here, which is just uh, nothing really important. Just kind of a soul and a divine blessing. So this thing will come back down on its own in just a bit if you wait for it. Okay, let's go pull the lever once again. And then there's a shield at the top area. Some kind of like magic shield or, or the mirror shield. Uh, it's actually not a magic shield. I don't know. It's just a, it's just a cool looking shield. Not really anything special. But either way, this is how you get... Oh, goodness. <laughs> I forgot. On the other side of these pots, there are some guys throwing fireballs at you. There's some pyromancer ladies. As well as this dude who likes to shoot poison daggers. Stop it! Oh, man. Look how close I got to being poisoned. And so I'm going to go ahead and... Can I shoot all these guys from here? Oh, man, this is perfect. It's not like they can hit me from here, so might as well finish them off. Okay, that guy's running away. Come on. Come back. I just want to play. 
Let's play shoot the dummy. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Let's just get down here. And boop. You're gonna take a little bit of damage there when you roll off, but no big deal. No big deal. Okay. So I'm gonna head up the ladder and we'll continue on. This guy right here, if you're really slow, you can sneak up and backstab him. Let's see if I can do it. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a thief after all. Uh, what? Oh, it's the guy I was just shooting at. It's, it's so funny. He's like, move out of the way. I got a guy to fight. And the other dude's just chilling. He's like, okay, no big deal. Herp derp. Oh, no, I got backstabbed. I wonder what he was fighting that guy for. I can't believe they didn't kill him. Oh, that's right. I wasn't using my dagger. Don't do nearly as much damage without the dagger on, for sure. Okay, if you come over here, you'll see... Oh, look, it's old Pate once again. What a shady character. So, we'll just talk to him real fast. You can't actually go through that door yet. So what you have to do is you come over here. And this, you definitely want to have a ranged ability. This is really hard to fight if you have no way of doing ranged damage. I really hope you have a ranged attack. Because that it's, this is going to be very difficult to jump across there and fight her otherwise. So, right here, if you're going to jump back, this is where a lot of people will die. Make sure you stay on the right side. There's a little ledge you have to kind of go through. And then we'll break our way down and open up this door, which only opens from this side. Come around here and yet another chest lies waiting for you. And that's pretty much all the little hidden loot. The great heavy soul arrow is amazing. So you should probably equip that as soon as possible. Uh, down there is another item we'll get to shortly. Let me just jump right there. You gotta, you've got to jump at the edge. Now, if you are not jumping at an angle properly, you'll actually roll off so if you remember from my previous episode i did a little trick uh if you're jumping directly onto that ledge just do a an r1 and you'll do a drop attack as soon as you are above the ledge and that will make it so you won't land and roll off so anyways there's all the little hidden chests that this zone has to offer at least i believe that's all the hidden chests there's a couple more things in a little bit but we'll get to that shortly let's just head back to where i came from and okay actually let me double check here. Oh, yeah, here's where we need to... Oh, fuck! I just got stabbed with the little secrety thing. There's a guy right here. We're going to kill him real fast. Let's give him the old stab treatment. One, two, and dead to you. Mannequin mask right there if you want to look like a mannequin. It's got that little weird face to it. Anyways, we're going to head up the ladder here that we just saw. And we're going to find the rest of the stuff in the zone that needs to be taken care of before we head to the boss. Alright, I went ahead and restored my humanity because I hate being low on max health. No biggie. So right over here, you'll notice that up this way... Okay, there's a cool trick to these guys. If you have uh, some sort of sorcery and you hit them, it makes them jump backwards and break those pots and they will poison themselves to death. Either way, they're very simple if you have a ranged attack. Otherwise, just be very careful when you run up to attack them in melee range because they will blast you for like your entire health bar with some pyromancy. This chick right here, we're just going to shoot her with a bow and it'll be good to go. Oh, goodness. I was staying a little bit too close. Yeah, that's the one thing you got to be careful about is when you're standing too close to those ladies. All right, you'll notice up this way, there's a dude that wants to mess you up. He wants to mess you up. All right, so just be very careful. In fact, ugh. Why did I do that? Okay, whatever. If you come in here, you can break the pots down with a ranged attack so you don't get poisoned. Otherwise, you can just say, screw it, I'm going to get poisoned. <laughs> just let them poison you, I guess. Use your little poison moss and you should be good to go. This Pharaoh's Lockstone, do not use it. It is a troll. And uh, this chip. Oh, fuck! No! No! I forgot! I knew that was there, but I forgot. Okay, that is a Mimicry. That's a chest, you open it, and it eats your damn face off. So, the Pharaoh's Lockstone, don't use it. It just turns into poison, and <laughs> you have to attack that chest. A really cool trick, which I'm not going to do here, but a really cool trick for those chests, if you don't want to fight them, is you can actually throw a... Uh, fuck, what's the name of the item? Uh, the Lloyd's Stone, or whatever it is. Lloyd's something. Lloyd's Talisman. You can throw it at it. And it will cause the chest to, I don't know, like go into paralysis. And it'll open up and you can loot it without actually fighting the guy. But eventually he'll come out of that paralysis and then he'll come after you. But doesn't really matter. Just freaking stab the thing and kill it and you'll be good to go. So I've jumped back over to the chest here. Here, let's skip all the stuff I've already shown you. And stab him a few times. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I just killed him before he even got up. So that's good. You get a work hook and dark gauntlets. 
And then head up this way, and there's a dude that wants to mess you up! Oh, yeah! I've got a scythe! But I don't really care. Let's Oh, he got himself poisoned, too. I think he poisoned himself. And we're gonna kill him! Oh, well, that's not really what I wanted to do. See if I could shoot him from down here. Ha ah ha! Get wrecked! Oh, man. He got wrecked. Okay, so some secret doors up here. If you open up this little area here, you can loot a chest. And... <laughs> Uh, petrified. Oh, yeah, that's what you go to the crows and you turn that in the crow's nest. And right here is another bonfire. So you can go ahead and rest up and reset yourself. This is a good bonfire to have if you're having trouble beating the boss, of course. So let's go ahead and head back down. Now, at the entrance here, there is two bros. Now, normally, if you had not burned the windmill from earlier, there'd be a big pit of poison right there. So that's a little bit annoying to deal with. Uh, in this case, there is not a pit of poison, so we're able to actually find that, see that little item on the skeleton over there. You can actually loot that now. You would not have normally been able to see that. Oh, shit. I just got wrecked. Now, these guys can be a pain in the ass for sure. Well, that's it, man. That's like this entire zone. That is Earthen Peak completed for you guys. So, if you need help with the boss, I can uh, show you how to do it. Just check out the boss kill series. And you'll be good to go. Otherwise, we're just going to go ahead and skip it as usual. No spoilers on the bosses during this walkthrough. Victory achieved. Hopefully, you guys were able to get through that boss without too much trouble. For now, though, let's go ahead and head up this area. Now, I've, I've never actually tried to go below this elevator or go above it. So, there may be some hidden items. I don't know if it's similar to the lost bus deal. I'm just too lazy to check because I... I can't be bothered. So, anyways, we are heading into kind of the final zone before the last, uh, before the primal bonfire will be lit. I think, let's see, two more bosses before we get to the last primal bonfire. One optional boss, and then the old Iron King, which is a really cool fight. But there we go. We are now in Iron Keep. This is a big PvP area. I'll talk about it later, though. So, thank you guys for watching this episode so far. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much, and I'll see you around for the next one. Peace out, bros.